the Trump administration on Monday repealed a mandate that would have required trains carrying crude oil to use special brakes with new technology. The Department of Transportation's Pipelines and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, PHMSA, said it undertook a congressionally mandated analysis of the provision in a 2015 regulation under which oil trains would have had to use electronically controlled pneumatic, ECP, brakes. The Department of Transportation determined that the expected benefits, including safety benefits, of implementing ECP brake system requirements do not exceed the associated costs of equipping tank cars with ECP brake systems, and therefore are not economically justified. PHMSA said the mandate to phase out traditional air brakes for crude oil use was part of a comprehensive rule that the Obama administration wrote in 2015 to try to improve the safety of crude oil trains. Transporting crude oil by rail has increased dramatically in recent years due to a boost in domestic and Canadian oil production. But with the increased traffic have come major crashes and explosions, like one in 2013 in Lac Megantic, Quebec, that killed 47 one in 2013 in North Dakota and one in Oregon in 2016. The rule was mainly meant to implement a new design for tank cars that carry crude, with new requirements for metal thickness and fire protection. The brake mandate and speed limits were also in the new regulation. The brake requirement was a top target for the railroad and oil industries in pushing back against parts of the 2015 rule. Congress, in the bipartisan Fixing America's Surface Transportation Act of 2016, told the PHMSA to conduct a new cost-benefit analysis of the brake provision. If the costs outweigh the benefits, the PHMSA was required to repeal it. Despite the additional testing and modeling, we still believe that there is insufficient data demonstrating that ECP braking systems provide a demonstrable increase in safety over other more widely used braking systems, the American Petroleum Institute told the PHMSA after it proposed Monday's action in December. Thanks Tim Karma for help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, Please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com. Once again, that is www.atthesmall.com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever, but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow. Y. E. S. H. U. A. Now.com. Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below. Please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.